At the renal unit of the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital, we meet Mary Amutabi. <laughs> Mary was referred to this hospital from the neighboring Vihiga County for a kidney dialysis two weeks ago. But the blood intensive procedure is yet to begin as the regional blood bank runs dry. Daktari wakasema nilete watu watoe damu wakakuja. So Mary's three sons donated blood. She received one pint which was compatible with her blood type. The situation at this referral hospital replicated across the country after Kenya suffered a major blow last October when U.S. donor Pepfar withdrew its aid. Coupled by poor blood donation habits, the closure of schools aggravated an already bad situation with the country falling further into the abyss of blood shortage having collected 164,000 units last year against an annual target of 1 million pints yearly. We have just been getting blood from the relatives eh? and you know that's a small pool the likelihood of, of, of getting uh, the blood type for the patient shrinks. Now, there are also those who do not have relatives eh, and need blood. Eh? Uh, where do they go to? And they are the majority. With a biting shortage presenting a house of cards scenario, the referral hospital is now looking at a risk of congestion in its wards as patients line up for blood. The facility has now resorted for a public appeal of blood donation to be held at the hospital on Thursday. Our target is at least uh, 480 pints eh, of blood. If somebody is in Mohoroni and requires blood, oh, that's not a sufficient reason for the person to come. They do know but idea put our dam. Dam is the problem here. With the country having suffered acute blood shortage for months and end, stakeholders are now calling on the government to look inwards and provide homegrown solutions to avert such crisis in future. Laura Tieno, Citizen TV, Kisumu County.